the, the casting manual is something I developed when I was the executive director of casting for Disney Theatricals because Lion King was burgeoning. We had not yet hit uh, 10 companies around the globe. Uh, Broadway was running strong. We were at, I think, four or five companies when I was there with uh, two or three more in development at that time. So uh, we were growing and growing. And there were certain things in terms of resourcing the specific types of people necessary to do the tasks involved in that show. And they are extremely complicated because there's all of the work with the puppetry and such. And then you have your young Simba and your young Nala, who are kids. You know, they're somewhere between 8 and 12, but they're children. And you have in each company two of them. Uh, and they are African lion cubs, right? Uh, and in each company you have two of them and you have their understudies or their alternates. So you have four of them. And then you're going to 10 companies where you have 40 of them. And then the show's been running 10 years and some of them are now playing fathers on television. So you now have something where you need an ongoing plethora of these incredibly talented kids with great personalities to carry the first act of that show. It's an extraordinary demand. So, uh, and around the world, we had companies at the time in, in London, one developing in Australia, uh, the company in Hamburg and in uh, uh, Netherlands as well. So all over the world, we were trying to resource these kids who could play these African lion cubs and uh, carry the first act of the show. So some sort of resourcing format had to be developed, some sort of way of doing things that could be duplicated country to country and adapted, of course, because each country is working from different talent pools and different standards of the industry and different training and such, uh, and especially in terms of casting kids, different labor laws, that sort of thing. But some manual had to be developed to uh, take care of that so that as we were hiring local casting directors in all the different cities around the world, we were able to, um, it was my job there to, to sort of lead them, to sort of guide them into uh, some way of working that could resource uh, the right talent for the very specific and particular needs of this particular show. Uh, and that took some doing. So I developed a, a casting manual that was a way of working that could be adapted, but basically was the way of working that would take care of that resourcing and training, since in many cases, kids who had done shows of the scale weren't, certainly who had done them at the age of eight or 10, were not, uh, a, a, it wasn't a plethora of talent to choose from. So therefore we had to identify the kids and bring them through some sort of training process to see what their potential was. And that was a part of that manual as well. It was it was fun to work on. I've, I've always um, uh, uh, managed to deliver on those kinds of projects where there's something where we're going into a new community or a new area. Uh, I've done theater worldwide. I've cast on five of the seven continents. Um, I, I have no hope of casting anything in Antarctica, but I'm, I'm thinking South America one of these days. I've done some work with shows there, but I've never actually cast there. Um, but I, I have done five of the seven continents, and, and I, um, I'm quite familiar with going into communities and making things work, because I think the, the creativity is a great gift. The, the chance to collaborate on a production, you know, it's a little bit like stone soup, isn't it? You know, everybody gets to participate and contribute something from within the community, and it can do great things for a community and bring a community to life. And uh, every time I've done it, uh, with every show I've done it on, I find there's, a, there's some great gift that's left behind by the production having happened there. So um, I'm a great believer that you use local talent wherever you are. You know, if you're in Australia, you hire as many Australians as you can. If you're in Canada, the same thing. Uh, if you're in London, the same thing. I'm not a big fan of moving people all over the place because I believe that every community in the world has its inherently talented people who can be worked with. And uh, my track record is such that I've always been able to go in there and resource them and find them.